Welcome to First Response Fishing. Fishing. I'm Marlon. You got Spencer here. Uh, warming up a little bit after being on the lake doing some ice fishing, and uh, don't forget retrieving a hook. Oh yeah, yeah. Spencer made sure that he got his hook back from his fish that decided to swallow everything. So don't fear the what 99 cent if that treble yeah, hook yeah. is safe. <laughs> Uh, today we have a box sent to us from Midwest Warrior. Uh, completely unexpected. They sent it out to us and asked us to use it for the veterans and first responders who take fishing. But we decided we want to do a little bit of a somewhat of a blind unboxing. You see, I had to open it because I had ordered two lures from them and had to get those out of there. But Spencer has never seen. I don't think you've seen their their work before, have you? No. This so this will be completely blind for Spencer here and. Uh, yeah, so let's just get into it here and see what we can find. Now, your lures have been taken out of here. My lures are taken out of here. This is all, these are examples of stuff that they've done, and um, from my understanding, basically things that they wanted, they're thinking about bringing to market or having in the market. Some of them are custom colors, some of them are custom painted. Uh, we've got a lot of soft plastics here that there's, they custom make, so... Um, like I said, I've kind of looked through them, but Spencer here is going to kind of give his opinion on these. And uh, feel free to open them, see what you think. We've got uh, a wide variety. They've got some thick worms in here. We've got some medium grubs. Looks like some wacky worms. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Smaller grubs and some flukes. And we have some... Uh, uh, paddle tails in here too. No, oh, lots so. of lots of different colors. Yeah, so um, lots of different choices in here. You got different some. sizes, colors. They seem to be really durable. Yeah, um, they feel just like the ones that you pick up right off the shelf. And I, and I I like the colors. The colors are they're very vibrant, but they're also unique. And I'm a, I'll pick a couple of these out of here that uh, kind of catch my fancy. And I'm gonna have. Spencer kind of talk about one of the things, some of the things he notices about them, and I'm gonna point out some things I noticed. Oh, you got one there. You really like? Yeah, I got liked? like one. This is one of the worms I've used before. Is Not it? from here, but right. The uh, coloration, the coloration and such. Hooking it right in the middle. Pick up some nice bass off of that. I actually was gonna pull these out for you. Um, same kind of coloration, and I've not seen flukes like this before. But uh, take a look at this coloration on the fluke and the eyes. The eyes are really impressive to me. Oh wow, those are very nice. That'll be easy to see in a dark color water. Get a nice glow off of them. And, they, and they've got, I noticed about theirs, they've got the durability. They've still got that stretch, but they're, you can tell they're a quality durability to them. Very nice, yeah. This will take a lot of strikes, a lot of beating through the weeds, no problem. I'm gonna lose a tail. That's very nice. And I, and I do want to thank Midwest Warrior Bait and Tackle. Um, they donated all of this to the group. And I mean, you can see we're just at the top of this. Yeah. And uh, there's there's quite a bit here. There's I mean, but there's no, there's an interesting color for you. I've not seen that one before. No, it's like a copper yeah. color. So there's some of this. I don't here. know how much they're gonna be able to see it nope. on the screen here. Hold it up there, you might be able to. I got another version of it too. They got so this is why I like. They got that wacky room there, which you know I like to do the wacky rooms and. Very nice coloration all the way through, look, though. Look at that grub. Just, you know, let's see if we can get the same of, color as the worm here. Yeah, it's just that nice shiny copper. Um, due to the sheer volume, I don't know if we're going to go piece by piece through this and show you every piece, but we'll kind of... Now you got the, some sitting over on the side yeah. there. Yeah, so these ones that caught one, my eye. That and, one's catching uh, my eye, too. I think that you're going to be... Uh, probably want to order some of these from them because it's not exactly what it looks like in the wrapper. It's only one-sided with that copper. Oh, just wow. Just the belly. Yeah. And the fact that these are all handmade is uh, what impresses me the most. I mean, just the time and dedication it takes to these. And that blue in there is such a... It's a popping blue. Yeah, it's very popping blue. Now, now, you see, you know me because you know that my flukes, mom's cooking again. <laughs> Frying up the fish we caught earlier and uh, guess she burnt it, so... <laughs> Hopefully the pizza's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. Look at those. The clear, oh, those like are clear. Flake. Very nice. I think these will do really good on this lake because of the darker water, but the, we get those transitions, and sometimes it's hard to find that 
color tie in. Yes. And those yes. might be. Well, this blue, though, it reminds me, uh, I think it's. That's Power Bait Balls. Yeah, Power Bait. That's who's making it. It's mm -hmm. the same color blue. And uh, that's worked really well out on this lake here. So I'm really excited to be able to try these once uh, ice opens up up here. Get some veterans out here and do that. Oh, I just noticed another one. I kind of think this two tone is going to catch your fancy, too. Oh, that's a very nice I one. I have never seen that. That It's almost like a purple pink. Kind of, yeah. With that flake in there? It almost makes a whole worm change colors, but depending on how you hit it on the light, yeah. it's really popping one color or the other. And it does have that little bit of a flake in there that brings out a shine as I twist it around. So There'll be some really interesting ones to see uh, what works, but... Every one of them, even these two colors, they're stretchy, they're durable, so I'm really liking that. Yeah. It's one thing I, I hate is when you get a soft plastic glass for one fish. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's cut up by 99 cent hook. <laughs> just, <Travel> hook. <laughs> yeah. And, and I, I wish we were kidding. He literally dissected the fish just to get his treble hook back out of it. So the one thing I will say and I've noticed here is you know, Midwest Warrior does the standard colors, but they've got some really unique ones. And I know from when I ordered from them, uh, I ordered a spinnerbait and a topwater. And they are super easy to work with. Um, I don't know if you've seen my spinnerbait yet. I didn't bring it up here this time. It's a five blade, or size five Colorado, and a size four Colorado. Okay. You know how I like my the super Colorado blades, but it's, it's the super comfort is what I'm going to call it. Okay. Just two massive blades <laughs> on there. And uh, he did the skirting in just a multi-rainbow, um, almost like a rainbow perchy color. Yeah, so That should be good. Yeah. I mean, we caught the northern up here yeah. on something similar to that coloring, so it'll be interesting to see it. And I don't know if it's in here yet. I kind of, looking down, I see a couple of them, but one of the things you didn't know is they've made their own design of a uh, chatterbait. Okay. It's a little bit unique, and I think there might be one in here. It was a prototype last time I saw it. All right. But let's get through the rest of these. Good to see you. This one, I know, is your kind of style. Yes, this is definitely something I'd use. Hide the hook in there real nice. And the bright, vibrant colors. Big eyes. And it still has that, uh, almost like a flake in there yet. Just to give it a little extra edge. So, And those eyes, those are really going to pop. If you're fishing in clear water, something like this, really could get a good attraction to get, it get up close and see that there and you kind of see the you can see how translucent it is and it, the camera's not picking up a lot of the flake but i think you're getting a little bit of it in there and look at that action just just barely moving it i should have some good swim rate yeah i'm telling you we, we're gonna have to get them up here and uh i got that mold for the frogs and let's do some of these multicolor things that they're doing especially that copper, I really, yeah, that yeah, copper yeah. is really popping. I think somebody's going to be wanting to call him up and tell him <laughs> that's the recipe for that. Oh. It's not a, not a two-tone, but look at the vibrance of that red. That's not a red, red is, I've seen before. I mean, Yeah, that red is, like, well, I've seen the see that. lures. It kind of looks orange on the screen here, but I don't know if I can tell against my shirt. It's definitely red, but that, it's yeah. not a red I've seen on the market at all. I mean, you have that one uh, craw... Uh, crankbait. Yeah, it's kind of that red, and you've had some good luck with that out here. So this could this could be the key the key ticket for some of these first responders and veterans we're bringing fishing. Yeah, we, we, we may got, have to. We got a lot of selection here. That's we, we sure. may have to uh, make some phone calls and get some additional ones for ourselves. Can't have the participants <laughs> out f fishing us. Uh, it looks bad when the guides are uh, catching fish. So. Yeah. So that that was. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot, and that's just the soft plastic that's in here. Um, I guess I should mention is that the weight on this, because they, they do weigh it at the post office, was six pounds. And uh, it's not all, it's a lot of plastics, but it's not all plastics. Now looking at these two, you yeah. can almost see the American flag in them, the red, white, and blue. Yeah. And that's uh, really enjoying that. I don't know if I got enough for Christmas to keep going through this box. <laughs> My order's getting kind of big here. Getting, well, big, well. Then I probably, I was going to show you this one, but I know the person who just walked in the room is the one who wants to steal that one. And she's going to be excited about that. But <laughs> I know how you and I like Chatterbait. Mm -hmm. this is, this is, I believe this is their one that they've came up with. It's a little different of a design. 
go ahead and pop that thing open and take a look at that. That's I, I'm really impressed with the the hand tied skirt on it. Mm. Very nice, nice. Nice EWG hook on there. And what I've noticed on it, I don't know if you can see on there, is it looks like there's a bait keeper, which some of the chatter baits I've seen don't have that bait keeper, so you can still throw a, a little bit of a trailer on there. And Definitely. That's something I've not seen before, but that coloring on there, that little bit of glitter in there just gives it that little extra yeah. pop. You know how white works out of here. It's been pretty hot this last summer. Hopefully it keeps up next summer, but... So we shall see. And we got the same same kind of one here, but the little pink head. That's why I said you know mom and her pink hooks. <laughs> yes. She she also will dissect a fish to get her pink hook back. I've seen her do it. And a little. Uh, I've green, learned from the best. <laughs> little green pumpkin and uh, neon green, same kind of thing. Now something like that is that the chatterbait again? Yes, it is. That, that's so, a little different of their chatterbait though. We're fishing in uh, very brown water, coffee colored water here. Yeah. So. Using this dark colored bait, or dark colored bait, but having that green head on there, just to give it a little pop, and then moving through the water. Like you said, this is definitely something a little different design. Almost looks like it's got a Spartan helmet for yeah, the. I like that. Yeah. Shield there, so that's something different. Try to hold it up to the camera here, so if you guys can kind of see that Spartan shield too. But that should move through the water and make a lot of turbulence, could get a good uh, agitated bite on something like that. So, pulling that through. Now, now this one is, I, I'm, I'm really liking this one. And you know, you, you know you fish with me, I'm not a jig person. Definitely not. I, I don't I don't normally do a jig. I'm, you gotta keep it moving. <laughs> you gotta keep it moving. But, I'm really liking this with the coloration and the design of it. Now, it looks normal, but when you start looking at that skirt a little closer, you're going to notice something. Oh, wow. It's almost got, like, uh, claws. Claws, like yeah, a it. plastic craw crawdad already attached to it, just in the skirt here. Okay. And I like the fact they got that bright blue in there. Hold which, up to the camera here for you. Which, you know, that bright blue is... So you can see how it transitions, too, on there to yeah. just the blue on the bottom, but it's staying with the same color of the skirt on top. But then they hit it with that head. Look at that head, though. The nice bright white. Yes, that's like I said, something to give it a little bit of pop. So then, that's very nice. And get you excited because they also have this. I just noticed with the green claws in here, so you can get that white head, pumpkin, you know, green pumpkin body, and then your bright neon green, which right here, really green on that one. I know that's going to give you a lot of pop. There's a little blue one there. And these are all custom made? Yeah, custom made. He makes them one at a time. So, each one's a little bit different here. Hand tied. And I don't have to worry about that skirt coming off at all. He's got that secured on there really nicely. So pulling that through weeds, I'm not going to lose my skirt at all. That's very nice. And I like that coloration on there too. I think he's matching his colors quite well with these. Ooh, okay, so got a couple more chatterbaits that were in here, but I just noticed one. And I think you're going to be, there's another, one of the little jigging minnows. I think you're going to be excited about this one, Spencer. I know you're already excited, but <laughs> we all look at chatter, we look chatterbaits. And what's the one thing that's universal about them for the most part? Tell me. I'm thinking the silver blade. You get a black blade, you might get a silver blade, right? Most of the silver, though, yeah. You don't, you don't get a whole lot of off custom style colors. Look at that. I didn't even realize it was a chatterbait until I really. If you open it up, you're gonna see. I didn't look. I didn't think it was either until I, I really caught my eye on the, the shimmer of the blade for a second. Oh wow, that's almost got like a purple hue to it. Like a, like a it's like a bronzy, bronzy purple. On yeah. There. And it's. With all this variation of color in that skirt. It's even got that little purple and green. That's been another hot one this year. Having yeah. that purple and green on some of these darker colored lakes. Yeah. Oh, and there's another one. Very he's got, nice. He's got a little black and green, same kind of thing. Again, yep. the, the... Still a lot of sheen to it, though. I mean, it's a little... Uh, subdued, Less but subdued, still... but it's still going to shine that light and make that water move. 
I think it's going to come out well. And then, I know you, you like your jigs. Ah, it's you, ice fishing season, that's all you get, jigging. You know, I'm talking about, you know, you like, to, you like to use your football jigs and things like that during the summer. And uh, you, the one thing I always notice you talk about is the brush guard. So I happen to notice one here, it's a little bit unique. It's not just a skirt. And it's got a little nice little brush guard, but look at the, that skirt too. Look at that addition of that curly wow. tail. That's already got my basically you got a trailer right there. Yeah, don't need to put another plastic on here. I mean, I could could switch right. it up with a different color too, but it's got a nice little. I don't know if I'm hiding it from the camera here. Nice little trailer already on there, and that's just incorporated right into the skirt. And then on the side there, it does have that brush guard. We are throwing in a lot of weeds up here, especially oh, yeah. by the creek uh, head, so that'll really help out, keep us out of the lily pads and not rip so many up this year. Yeah, get a, get a few more bass this year instead of, uh, instead of just bluegill and crappie and stuff, too. And the one thing I've noticed is a lot of these, like you said, are multi-species. I feel like some of these, you know, you're going to get pike on them, definitely. But uh, we've got your other favorite fish out here, and... Uh, I'm thinking, I noticed this one in there. That one could almost go for your musky. Look at the size of that. What do you think? Heavy gauge wire still. Mm-hmm. Well, All which, these are which, so well packaged, too. Yeah. Well, and we're not going to let you throw that one because really nice. we know what your, your habit is with musky lures. Throw it once and lose it? <laughs> you know me too well. You don't have to worry about fishing a thousand casts because <laughs> I only it's get fishing one. one cast and then <laughs> new lure. Go get a new lure. But yeah, that they even painted the head here. Yeah. Same coloration as the body and the skirt. It's really nice. I mean, you know I'm a spinner bait guy. Two spinners but on it like that. You could. I, I like the willow. I like the Colorado, but that that's a willow leaf I could see myself throwing. Definitely something you could uh, still catch multi species on here. I mean, yeah, it could attract the bigger fish, the muskies and such. It's Definitely got the profile for it, but they didn't make the hook so large. I, it's you, excluding everything else. Right. So that's something I do enjoy. So throwing it out for muskiers, throwing it out for walleye or northern, you still have your options open. Right. And I, like I said, there's a lot of these that we're going to try to pick out the really interesting ones as we go through here. Um, they're all uh, outstanding. Like I haven't pulled a thing out of here yet that I wouldn't pay a decent amount of money for. I mean, yeah, I'd throw all of these so far for yeah. sure. Now that one you put over there with that pink head again. That one's a very bright one here, right here. Yeah. That coloration in there. Let's see if I can close this here. Stick. I'm kind of running out of room here. Yeah. It, we it's made about good, halfway through the box so far. It's a good, it's a good problem to have. And uh, we're still going. Uh, and what gets me is bait. we still haven't gotten, and I, I, I see some down here. We haven't gotten to their actual crankbaits that they're they're which their bread and butter. Like that's that was their, that's where, they he gets to shine with his custom paint. I mean, the, every one of these is beautiful, but I can't wait for you to see his actual crankbaits where he's got a bigger canvas to start putting designs on. Oh, I think in this one's one of my favorites. You got the bright colors on top. I think you might have to fight mom for that one. Subdued on the bottom. I think you might have to fight mom for that one. That that could be a possibility, but definitely gonna get us uh, some action on something like that. All right, and it looks like we got some uh, some of the, more of the cheddar baits here. We have something that uh, I didn't expect in here. So we we're talking about the jigs, and we talked about the cheddar baits. But you know, sometimes you don't want the skirt; you just want jig head. a jig head yep. that you can throw plastic on. And they've got some in here that are non-painted, which is nice. To, you know, it gives you that nice color. So like this one, they did just the eyes. Looks like maybe a little bit of sparkle paint, but it's primarily just a lead color. Um, we got a couple other ones like that with the crackle paint, but it's still lead color. Something if you want, just something plain. But I also like it because it gives us a chance we can kind of look at these and start looking at their other colors. You know, maybe we'll come up with our own custom uh, paint job we'll have to have them <laughs> do up for us. You know, they say it catches the fish, fishermen, not the fish, but... That's true. You know, but I, I like it. I like the weight on these. Yeah, they definitely got some good heft to them. You can really throw something like that far. But I think my favorite part is the bait keeper. You're I'm not sure going to lose your uh, your plastics on something like that. You can run it all the way up, and it's actually got two different uh, slides on there to help hold that bait on. And so. I know you can't really, because you're not really up in here to look at it, but 
they've got the different sizes in here for the hooks. So it's nice because like something like that, you could definitely, you know, get a big musky on even. And they're not going to usually hit the bottom stuff, but I was thinking, you know, throw it behind the boat and you can troll with it, put something nice swim bait on there to help keep it down in the wake. Yeah, okay. there's definitely something you could probably troll right behind the boat. Not have to worry about because that's got, like I said, it's got some health to it. But definitely could do some long casting with something like that. Pretty get sure nice... you can get down that 26 foot hole out there. <laughs> get a nice tail on there or something. But I, like I said, we were talking about the colors before. Um, a lot of these solid colors, just that blue again. Yeah, that's I mean, another. I, I just, that blue is just. That's very bright, vibrant, excuse me. But they also got the eyes on here again, and they're painted, or yeah. I'm not sure if the eyes were painted on or how they did these eyes, but they got that nice sheen to it. So even though it's kind of more of a flat blue, the eye, even silhouetted against the light, gets a really good glow on it. I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen there, but there we go. You can yeah. kind of see that glow in the light there. Kind of one of the downfalls of working with limited technology up north. But yes. I'll give up the hey. little bit of technology for... Being up here, this is this is a great escape up here. Um, get some green too. It's that nice little. Let's see if I go the right direction. Lime green there. Um, this one I thought you'd like because you like those brush guards. Not only do you have the option without, but you know if you get in that thick brush, you, you can do just a straight non-skirted jig with the brush guards, and that's that's a big thing too. I'll pull some more of these out of here. Got some reds in there. Got some just I. I these paint jobs are just astounding to me. You know me, I'm not artistic, so... Neither are I. I'm I really liking like these brush guards, too. They're not coming out. They're, they're, not their super, they're not super stiff, but they're still... It's going to deflect a majority, yeah. but you're not going to lose a bite off of something like that. Yeah. So that's that's really nice, well done, and the quality here has been amazing. I just... I, it, it blows my mind. Got a couple more spinners here, and then we're going to get into the ones that uh, I think you're going to be really excited to see, because I know you like those crankbaits. So, there's your, 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 your green you like. And again, they're doing these really good color combinations here. They got this bright head with more of a subdued skirt on here, but the skirt's still got some almost Flash fleck in it, and it's... And, and it's a double willow, or it's a double Colorado, so you know it's a double Colorado is my my, my go-to. Uh, the willow blades up here, it, especially up here, I've noticed just don't seem to have the enough thump to them sometimes. Maybe the bigger ones will, and I, that's something I'm interested to see. But uh, I just noticed something on this one. I don't know. I didn't, couldn't tell on the other ones. And I don't think I've seen another one like that. But he did something really unique with that blade. If you look at it. Oh, he's got a fleck in there, or he actually like a, painted the blade. I, I've not seen too many. Well, and it's not like a paint; it's a, it's almost, almost like, like a, a clear dimple, color. or yeah, I'm not yeah. sure what that is. But that's but it's it's just something just unique enough. Let's see if we can get this can... flash to. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Okay, go ahead and kind of see it. So you can kind of see it's almost like dimpled in there, but it's actually more of a fleck. It's smooth all the way across. And you know, the, the dirty water. If you can get that flash in there, it gives you the you're advantage. halfway there. You know? Or in your shady spots, things like that, too. Yeah. I think you know what spot I'm thinking about on this lake. <laughs> yeah. So we got that one. We got uh, green pumpkin again. Always a go-to. Mm -hmm. We've got another another one of those without the fleck blade, which, again, I'd like that. And then, oh, here you go. Here's a uh, green pumpkin, but the fleck is almost prismatic on that one. Oh, that's true, yeah. So I'm trying to see it through the case there. Yeah, you can kind of get it. But I also want to show you every one of them. It's just a nice simple logo. Nice simple. They don't. They don't try to. They they let the baits, in my opinion, the, the tackle and the bait, show themselves off. You know, you're not trying to. You're not buying packaging, and wondering what you're going to get out of it. You can easily see everything, and I, I really That's, appreciate that. I agree with that. You know, I'm loving that each one of these, though, they're different. I yeah. mean, I'm sure if I asked, you know, hey, can I get some more in the white, you'd be able to get me the, like, some Fine. of them. Where was that one? You know, if you, 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 this pumpkin with the green head. Yeah. I'd probably get that green head again, but 
that pumpkin, I don't know if you'd be able to get it the same. I mean, just looking at the same colorations, everyone's been very different. And well, and, and the thing I like is, you know, that one of the great advantages of having them do it to custom is, you know, if you if you just decide, you know, that skirt is, it's just not quite what, it, you know, what I want. That's the great thing is you can call them up and they can make you anything that they have. Any combination of this, anything you've seen in here, they can combine together and make a one-off of what you want. And, you know, you go fishing, we all know, sometimes it's the subtle differences. And, you know, you, should, you fish different than I do, but we've, we've compared it before, you know, the with the spinner baits. You know, the trailer I'll use versus the trailer you, you'll use. But there are times it's just, just that little coloration. Little yep. And you can get that done. And but you know what? Now I don't have to worry because if I'm pulling something like this out, I can be like, Oh, what are you guys using today? And I can just pull it on and be like, I'm using this, and not have to worry because I know nobody else is going to. I got it. the one. Yeah. And that's and that's that can give you the I, advantage you know, there. That's another thing I hear. You know, you get somebody else is coming over and they'll watch where you fish and then they'll try to come back. But if you got your own coloration, they can't. They can't copy your coloration. You don't have to worry about it. Not to mention, sometimes it gets pressured out here. That's it's all new stuff that they haven't seen. You know, you can present them with something new, but. I know you like your crankbaits. I do. I'm throwing them on a lot. So, and I know you like your red. So I'm going to start here. Okay. I'm just kind of seeing over the box just a little bit. I'm getting really excited because I'm seeing some really cool colors in there. Look at that. And pop that baby out of there and take a look at it. And, and the thing I've noticed is it's all good quality. The hooks are great. But I really like about that is look at the way that your your, your tie off is on it. It gives oh, you it some gives options. You, yeah. Definitely gives you options on how I want to present it if I want to. Keep it a little lower, a little taller. Where's the camera here? So I got three different hole placements on there to move it, and they really include the swivel on the top. So all I'd have to do is pop that in. I don't even have to tie it to my line if I don't have one to. Yeah. That's really nice. Well, as you're sitting there fumbling around with it by yourself. But you know what's impressing me? Listen to this. It's got a little rattle in it. Bring it over by the speaker here. Yeah. So I, almost, like, almost two rattles in there, and I'm holding the hooks here so that you know they're not rattling. But yeah. and, and that paint job, just yes, that is. I, I I would put that up against any bait that you buy on the market. Now you're not I mean, gonna find a bait like this on the market, though. I no. mean, yeah, I mean it's, it's just, just talk about this it. tiger print here on it, and, and you like your red, good coloration, and it's solid all the way through for. I'm not seeing anything wrong with this bait. And the other thing I will tell you, because I, I know they've got them after we got these, and I know you like your sparkle. They do now have a, uh, I believe it's square bill, in a hydrofoil with a rattle. Well, that'd be an interesting one. So I'll have to show you later. I mean, they, they got some on their website. If you, if you want to see some of their other examples of things, you can go on their Facebook. It's Midwest Warrior Bait and Tackle, and they've got all that on there. You can also contact them. Um, you know, like I said, I'll show you the one I got too, but, uh, you can contact them. I will tell you from experience, you can give them the simplest of ideas. That mouse, I had the idea of a pink mouse that paid homage to an EMS theme and I didn't bring it this weekend. So, but it is on, it is on first responses, Instagram page. All right. So they can find it there. Um, just outstanding quality, uh, fishnet style ghosting to it. Amazing. I mean, I, I can't, I can't paint a cardboard box with a can of spray paint. So. And don't ask me to paint the broadside of a barn. Yeah. I'll miss. So. Um, here's another one for you. I think you're gonna like. You know, I know you like your lip list too. But look at that. Oh. Kind of as like I'm a, sitting here in the light, this bait is already changing colors. That's a very nice one again. Like I said I know you. you uh, you like your lip list, and apparently they do too, because I, you know it's easy to teach what you like. So when we start taking people out, when it thaws out, you got a couple lip lists to show off to them and, and give them some examples. And you know, one of the things that I we, we've been talking about was we wanted to start being able to give the veterans and the first responders we take fishing the ability to just keep going on their own. Yes. So definitely something. I mean, um, one of the things that they gave this for is because. When we take somebody fishing, we're going to start giving them a lure and some So when you take line. me fishing, do I get to pick my choice nope, too nope. then? You're, you're, you're a veteran, so, you know, you're a veteran, you're a first responder, but you're already a volunteer, buddy, so. But, uh, 
I, I think we can talk to them and maybe <laughs> maybe get you something coming. So we got that one, and uh, there's there's a little baby bass pattern for you. A baby bass. Again, pattern. not a coloration that you see very often, but they've done this so well. I don't know if that's bass or sunfish. I'm here. trying to figure it out. Yeah, it's kind of a I mean, combination of the they're two. They're including the dark spot behind the gills yeah, here. And I just and noticed, I don't know if you saw the, the, the underside there. Oh, yeah, the different. underside again. It's got their, they're painting these very well. Here's a side view of it. And you can see it's still got the dark spot right behind where your gills would be. And very realistic here. And again, it's got that multi platform top on there. So you can choose, I'll show this in the light here, but it's got uh, the three holes on the top here again, so you can really choose where you want to go. Now, I just noticed something on one of these, and uh, I think this is, this, this is the personal touch that says it all about their lures. Wow, um, that one really pops. This is such a patriotic pattern and the you can, nice hard knock to it but I'm gonna have you take a look at it because this is it's like a red white and blue I'm gonna show you here show you guys here you can kind of see it's got the, I'm seeing it for the first time on the screen here too he keeps holding it in his hand behind yeah, I got, I'm trying to hide it because there's something <laughs> I, want to, I want to show them to see on this but nice lipless and I know you like lipless but the fact of I want you to look right down there that's, oh, wow. To me, that is the sign of a true artist who's going to sign their work. That is but look, really cool. But look at the weight on there and just... Oh yeah, show that to our audience here too. But yeah, you can tell that these are really well done. He's Maybe taking his passion. time. Yeah. Making each and every one of them. And then, like you said, he's got his signature on the bottom here. The light's not going to work with us. Okay. But it's going to be on the tail end here. And that's, that's the one I've seen him do it on. I mean, he, he made... I almost wonder if it's like an Easter egg hunt now. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be going through this again. We're going to be going through and trying to find all the all the signatures. So there's two more in here. We'll go through those real quick. You know, I, I think the... the, uh, the last two are kind of interesting, too. Because this one's kind of got that... If I hook myself... You know, Catches the fisherman, right? Yeah. All right. I really like the. It's another very well done one. I'm really enjoying their coloration. Give me some ideas for some orders, huh? Yeah, definitely. Definitely could hit a couple different species depending on what type of water you're hitting dark water, clear water, things like that. Or even if you're just hitting the shade versus the sun. Right. And then the different color selections like they got here. And it just showcases his ability. I mean, you could... I, I would say you can come up with the most off-the-wall design and somehow he would make it work. And I, I know, again, if you haven't checked out their website, you have to. Um, you and I are going to look at it a little later today so we can kind of go... Or tonight so we can look through it. But he, they, they've got everything there. You've got your... You've got your I mean... Just look at this stuff. It's, you, you I mean, you guys can't see our chatters. table here. It's a little under the camera, but we have a six-foot table, and it is literally covered in everything that they've sent us that, here. Yeah. And, 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 and everything and is unique. Not a single one of these things. I, I don't the see same. a double. I mean, even in the plastics, I don't see a single double. No, everything here is. And I would challenge. I, I don't think that you and I could go to Walmart and fill this box. It's a large shipping box for under a hundred bucks oh definitely not i mean and not only that but you never have this kind of variety you'd ha you, you could not get this many different styles colors anything i don't even think you could do it at bass pro i mean that's or would you say definitely that's definitely uh a little difficult to say i mean because bass pro you got all these different types, but you won't find these colorations right, there. Right, These I'm colorations saying. are... I'm saying, you, I don't think you could go there and get as many different colors in as many different things. No, they, even, even if you're just looking for one specific thing. I know a couple of years back, I was doing uh, the battle on the Winnebago. Mm -hmm. It's an ice fishing contest out on the Winnebago right. and Wonder Bread. 
was oh, yeah. was the coloration that you needed to catch any fish on there. Everybody came in on that first day. Only pe- people that are catching fish were using this Wonder Bed coloration. But I mean, coming here and seeing this, you could get something very similar to that yeah. and uh, customize it so that you have that little bit of an edge. And so, so a little secret. I'm gonna really get you excited here, and you're gonna you're, you're probably gonna yell at me because I didn't tell you this before this week. They've started doing ice fishing stuff. They have. Yes. That, that, that is exciting. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, I've seen some of it, and they've, they've said if anything, if, even if it's not something they already have, they'll find it. I mean, they, they, they are the most generous to guys, just I, obviously most generous. I, I'm still, I, 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 I'm a little choked up. I mean, it means a lot to me that they wanted to donate all this stuff to help out veterans and first responders that's um you know this isn't going this isn't going in my tackle box it's not going yours no i mean i, I wish it was <laughs> yes, we both did. but this is going towards you know and like and you'll hear us saying you know we're going to try this and try that when we say try this and try that i mean it, we're talking like when we take somebody out to show them how to use it it's not something we're going to keep um this is going to be something that's going home with one of those guys yeah and they're, and they're going to take Start them home their tackle gonna, box yeah. right you know and uh I think there may be some of this stuff that will eventually end up similar things in your tackle box because I have a feeling that uh, <laughs> they're about to receive an email that will be the likes that they have not expected. Uh, but just it, it's the, the generosity of it. I mean, that's that's the thing. Is like we can sit here and we can talk about the quality all day long, which is it's there. I mean, it's just outstanding. And the fact that it's just two guys. That's that's. It's just two guys making this. And that's that's a lot to send out. I mean, especially when you just yeah. got two guys doing it. This takes time. Oh, yeah. Time is money. And, and they've the sent trial us... Trial and error and... So much. And air, uh, painting these, it can't be a quick no, one, I, two of these. It's are, not like you're just slapping, a, a, slapping it on there. I mean... Or just dipping them in a plastic dip or anything. Yeah, they're, they're, these are well done. And each one of them, coloration and everything... Like yeah. something like this, it can't. It's got to take a. And you can and, and the thing that gets me while. is, you know, yeah, the, you could say, well, I could go, you know, you could go to the store and probably buy something similar to that. But I, I, I would feel fairly comfortable saying, as a matter of fact, I, I would feel 100 percent comfortable saying, if you went and bought that same color, kind of color, coloration, because you're not going to find the exact same. But if you bought the same one in the store. It, you go out and you start beating it on rocks and things like that, because we all know we do that. It's gonna come off pretty easy. I feel like these have a, a, a just a much better quality paint on them. Um, you know, for mass marketing, we all know Six Sense is kind of the the industry's leader for the mass produced ones. Um, just for whatever, it, it, and whether you agree with it or not, most people would say that's the the top quality. Um, I don't think they have anything on the. These guys could just blow them out of the water. Oh yeah, for sure. And just, it's it just incredible and amazing, amazing. I uh, these colorations I can't get over the, just like this copper, like it just. It's, I've never seen a copper like that. Or the the blue that's popping right here again. Oh yeah. Come out from blue. underneath of them all. It's just something unique that they got going on here. And the reasonableness of the price, I mean. Their stuff, their their their, their lures are six ninety nine and you know going up from there, but they're not unreasonable. Um, I mean, I know somebody who spends thirty plus dollars on musky lures that he throws out and loses right away. I'm still planning on maybe swimming out there and getting it, but <laughs> I just dissected the fish. I could go swimming a little so, bit, but so, so so here's the question: Do you remember where you lost it so you can start drilling right there in the ice and maybe try to hook it from below? I know where the log is, so. <laughs> Hopefully, once this ice clears up, it's uh, not moved out of the way. Do some scuba diving. Um, yeah, it's just, I just, like, I, I, from from the bottom of my heart, I, I want to send a thank you out to them. And uh, um, I think this kind of seals that we, we're going to have to have them come up here and come fishing. Definitely, yeah. I mean, you can't, you can't make donate a this like much and not, not go fishing. fishing. And uh, I'm going to have to turn them over to you because I know when I talk to them, they, they really want to go after pike and muskie and... and I think we can. I think you, you can find the muskie, and I, I, I have no doubt they're going to be able to make a lure that's going to work on it. This is just, I, 
or I mean, even if you know a color combination that you've you tried in the past on the uh, lake. Discontinued? Discontinued, or, you know, it works on certain species, you know, they could probably tweak that to be any right. type. Well, I mean, like like the discontinued thing. How often have you gotten the lure one year and it just it just hammers that year and you, you love it. And you go back next year get a new one because you just tore the tore the bricks off of it. And they don't make it anymore. Yep, it's gone. Every year. And, you, and get... you don't have to worry about that, though. No. And... It's just... Like, I am really in awe of this. And... This one keeps catching my eye. I still think this is one of their coolest paint jobs. It's red on blue and then red on white on the bottom. That was that teardrop type yeah. jig. Pulled out here for the camera. But, I mean... You, you this just kind of speaks volumes of their creativity and... So there's that red on blue you can really see on the screen, the red on white on the bottom. But it's got that nice sheen on it yet. And I just, like I said, I, 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 could, I can't thank them enough. I mean, they just, this is amazing. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter who comes up here now. When we are able to get people to come out fishing in the summer here, they're going to have a wide selection and... They're going to go home with a custom bait. They can say no one else has. I feel like if we put all this in one tackle box, that you'd have to, you wouldn't even be able to put it in your big tackle box. And you know what I'm talking about. Your big one that everybody uses as a stool. And this, I don't even think you, you couldn't fit all this in there. No, definitely, definitely not. And There's just, a lot here. And, and not, like I said, nothing's the same. I don't think they're. I don't even think in the jig heads, like the ones that look a little unpainted. I don't think either one, any of them, are exactly the same. It's no, they're just, all very different here. Yeah, you know, just incredible, incredible work. I, yeah. I, I think. Uh, yeah, like you said, shout out to them and for donating all this to help us out and help out our yeah. veterans and our first responders. I mean, yeah. we've had a hard year with first responders. Yeah, and COVID veterans is... have a hard year all the time. So, being able to give them a chance to take a break, come out and relax, and not have to spend an arm and a leg to purchase. Yeah. And, and just have the time to talk to people and get off your chest. Because, I mean, we're out ice fishing day. I mean, you know, gotta have the heart to heart. You gotta have the heart to heart. Because what, what, what other option you got besides drinking and having a heart to heart? Exactly. Because there's not, not much that will help you bond like sitting freezing on a lake. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I usually have some witty sign off here, and I really just am still. I in am awe. in awe just on the so. sheer amount here. So I, I, I'm going to sign off with, you know, a, a huge, huge shout out and thank you to Midwest Warrior Bait and Tackle. Let's see if I can um, get their tag here on the screen for you. Yeah, and I, I'm trying to see if I can. Does that one have their phone number on there? It does have or, a phone number on the bottom. Is it a phone number or is it a... Okay, yeah. So I'm going to... 712... 621 9800 in case you're wondering and uh they are in Bet Bedor, uh bedford iowa i had to look it up i couldn't remember um they do ask that you text that number that i gave you but uh their facebook facebook is midwest warrior bait and tackle they are veteran owned and operated like i said it's it's a father son um father son both are veterans and you can tell that this is their passion like they're there is no doubt that they take a pride in their work and just Definitely. are passionate about their fishing. Um, um, well, I guess I want to say thank you for having me on. I mean, we haven't been able to catch oh, up. and You're always you know, welcome on here, man. You know. Got up here finally so that we could do some fishing, and you brought up this box. You're like, I got something to show you. We're going to go on for it. So I'm like, yeah. okay, let's do it. And, you know, this maybe a uh, surprise. So thank you, Midwest uh, Warriors Bait and Tackle. This is uh, this is just incredible. Yes. Um, so you know, this will go on the YouTube channel. We will have the audio on the uh, podcast. Maybe uh, maybe tomorrow night. You know, I'm thinking we had Mitch on. I don't know if you knew about that. Um, you know, your, your little brother. The little one. Well, yeah, the, the, the little, little, little one. That's, that's the little brother. one that's not the tall one. Okay. Um, and he was sharing his memories of fishing with you know your guys's dad which is kind of a unique situation having the brothers on so maybe tomorrow night if we if we get a chance maybe have you got do one on that we can talk about that and some of your memories um talk about picking on him because i'll tell you he, he did uh, throw a few jabs in me on his hmm. so you know he, did he did he tell you about uh eating a worm 
No. Okay, well, we'll save that one for uh, tomorrow night then. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I like the story if he's going to throw some jabs this way. So. so, yeah, so make sure, you know, if you're seeing this on YouTube, head on over to Spotify or uh, Google Podcasts or anywhere you listen to podcasts. You can search it out. First response fishing. Uh, we're going to have a couple more on there. There's already 21 episodes, so um, we'll have a couple more on there. This will be on there as audio, but you'll also be able to watch the video on YouTube and definitely tomorrow. check it out on YouTube if you're listening to the podcast just to see the quality. Oh of yeah, these. it's just outstanding quality. Um, and then we'll do the uh, do an audio one tomorrow. Sounds try, like a try, plan. Try, try, maybe get mom down there too. Maybe. Yeah, we'll Sounds we'll, like a plan. We'll just have to tell her we're recording. It. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll we'll check that out and kind of get to know Spencer here a little better. Uh, again, a huge thank to Midwest Warrior Bait and Tackle and. Keep your lines tight or thawed out, I guess, would be the best time for this year, uh, best for this time of year, and uh, enjoy it, because you know, I think we can both agree, that even in our job, the best day at work still doesn't beat a bad day fishing. Definitely not. Because I'd much rather be up here. All right.